Well, that was a complete waste of time. That was a complete waste. Um, <laughs> I just talked for like the last hour, really for no reason, as for some reason it did not, um, it did not record anything I just did. So what I'm going to do is just recap. I'm really just going to recap what I did. So I started in, I've started a new franchise mode. I've been playing around with NHL 19 now since it's been out. I do have a franchise mode going right now um, with uh, the Bruins, but I've decided to start a brand new franchise mode with the Bruins also as part of a Twitch um, stream. So since it's already saved and recorded, I'll just go in and show you what, what we've done so far. And yeah, so what a waste of time that was, but let's get back into it here. So we'll just continue. I'll show you my lines. I'll show you the settings I play on. Okay, so I simmed preseason and two months already. This is our record. We're in fourth place. Um, let me just show you these settings just so you can see what settings I'm playing on. Um, using custom rules. Fighting is fine. Hybrid. I see. Everything's typical hockey um, period lengths I do have at 10 minutes so if I do go in and play a game that's the the length that I play at difficulty right now is on pro um, assistant, co assistant coach edit lines no um, I do have auto finances off uh, trading for medium. I do have it on full sim um, pro 25 year length as you know meet us, uh, meeting notifications morale meetings I did turn off uh, fog of war I do have on but I do have certain things on under fog of war so certain things I do still have off so that that way I still have to scout but I do have some things on so overall and play a role I do want on as I've been playing it those are two things that I'm like I was getting kind of not frustrated but those were two things that I really wanted to be able to see is their overall, at least their rough overall and their actual player role. Um, I mean, if you, for most NHL, EA Sports NHL gamers, those that know NHL, know a lot of the players, for the most part you'll know their player role, but it gets increasingly harder as you go on in years. Newer players, guys that you draft. Um, so I just, I'd like to know the player role at least. Um, show potential. And then for scouting, Auto scouting, I do have it on both, so the CPU will assign all the scouts. Um, I do like that you can hire scouts, you can assign them to certain things. I haven't quite spent a lot of time experimenting with the scouting yet. Um, I, I do want to experiment, experiment with it more, because I do like being very in-depth in my franchise modes. Um, but for, for this purpose right now, I'm going to do it for both. But what's neat about it is, even though the CPU is assigning all the scouts, you can still go in and scout certain things that you want to anyway. So, um, there is that flexibility. So, those, those are the rules that I play on. On Ice Trainer is off. Actually, I haven't fiddled with this yet. Menu music. Oh, I did turn it down. We'll turn it down a little bit more. That's fine. Visual setting. It's dynamic. You know what? Let's put it on dynamic high. I typically like it on dynamic high anyway. Okay, so like I said, I started this new mode, this new franchise mode. Um, we're doing with the Boston Bruins. I have simmed already two months. The reason being, for some reason, Twitch was all messed up, so it did not record what I've already talked about. So we'll just kind of overview where we are at this point. So my lines look like this. I did set my lines up how the Bruins set their lines up in the season opener last night against the Capitals, which we know was an absolute disgrace. But anyway, here are the lineups. I do have Heinen playing up on the wing with Krejci and DeBrusque. Donato, Kirali playing center on the third line with Bacchus on wing. And Nordstrom, Achari, and Wagner. I may sub out Nordstrom um, maybe for Bjork, 
for right now, I am going to play these guys. As you see, their role is fourth line, fourth line, fourth line. And Bjork's role right now is a depth forward, so that is okay. And then here is my defensive pairings. I did put Krug with Carlo and Moore and Miller. So quick look here. Here are the stats quickly after two months of Sim. This is the Martian, Bergeron, Pasternak line. DeBrusque, Krejci, Heinen line, Donato, Kirali, Bacchus. That line seems to be playing pretty well. Nordstrom, Achari, and Wagner. That, that line seems to be playing well too. Krejci right now is on the trade block. I updated my trade block. They had Ryan Donato and some of my first round picks on the trade block. I took those off, put Krejci, and I think next year's second, I think. And then here is Chara. McAvoy, Krug, Carlo, Moore, Miller. So Krug and Carlo seem to be playing really well together. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, McIntyre is up because Rask is injured, so Halak is getting the bulk of the starts, but obviously McIntyre is going to take some. Grezelik, Bjork, and I did sign veteran center Matt Stajan as a depth center. I know it's not like that in real life, but I needed a depth center for injuries. This is my AHL squad. We do have an injury down here for the wing. That's why Bleed is there. Daniel Winnick. Winnick and Stepniak are both, were both signed to PTO agreements with Boston. Obviously, I, I did keep them, but I don't have them up on the main team. I do have them down here in Providence. Zachary Sanusha and Ryan Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald sims really well. So does Forsbacker Carlson. Forsbacker Carlson in my first Bruins GM mode gets up to like an 81, I think, overall. 82, something like that. Third line center eventually. So he develops really nicely. Peter Kalarik gets up to like a 78 overall. I think he only... I used him as like a bat, uh, a depth winger up. Sanushin, he gets up into the low 80s. In my first... GM mode. I did trade him to, I think, the Lightning. And he actually played pretty well for the Lightning, of course. Um, Fitzgerald, he's the backup with my first Bruins GM mode right now, too. He gets up to, like, a high 70s. So, Borrell, this is my defensive lineup here. Lozen, he gets up to, like, a 77, 78. You kind of figured his ceiling would be a little higher, seeing how his potential is the top 6D. Zaboral. So that's the stats of the guys. Like I said, right now, we are fourth in our division. So we actually won against the Capitals. We didn't get blown out like in real life. We had a good finish to October, and then Rask got injured, and from all of all of uh, November here, Halak and McIntyre have been splitting the playing time. So not bad. We're 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 hanging in there. Our Providence team is so is 500 right now, but we're hanging in there, fourth place. I think Rask come comes back in another week. So, but yeah, that's that's all I wanted to to do in this first episode. But now that I had to re-record it. That is it. So we'll come back in another episode. We'll sim a couple more months. Maybe think about some trades. Um, like I said, Krejci in our second round is up on the block. We'll see if anybody makes us offers. Uh, no, I don't want to go into that. We will review the draft class. Yo, pull a check. Kirby Doc. I know drafts pretty well. Uh, Capo Caco. M. Peyton Krebs. I know draft high in this game. We really don't have any big draft picks. Ryan Suzuki. I traded. I drafted him on my last. Um, they must have changed his player style because he was originally a playmaker.
Yeah, so that's that. Like I said, we, we I may trade Krejci because we have some depths. We have a lot of depth at center, like Heinen, Donato, uh, Bacchus. Um, we may consider trading Krejci for some draft picks. Um, the other thing I did do, too, was we did s extend... Charlie McAvoy. So McAvoy will be on a new six and a half million dollar deal for one, two, three, four, five, six. I signed him to a six year deal. Nice long term. We don't have to worry about him next year. I found in my first GM mode Carlo, DeBrusque, and in a couple of years, Bjork and Krug tend to be a bit expensive. Especially Bjork. He got up to like a play a role of like a second line forward so he he got expensive up into the four million range um so some of these guys get a little expensive um so that's why in my first jam mode i traded krejci um i traded bacchus tra uh, krejci bacchus and rask all got traded so that way i could sign and extend my young guys like heinen debrusque charlie mcavoy carlo um, all those contracts up, so. So that's that. So like I said, we're sending in fourth place. We'll come back with another episode. And keep our season going. Hope you like it.